What are y'all up to today? Hey, Miss Brent, how you doing? I'm all right. You okay? Yeah. Olivia's videoing me for a document. Docu Say that word. Documentary. Oh. And how should I start the documentary? <laughs> Say this is my crazy grandma. <laughs> I've always thought I can do anything that I wanted to do, you know, and uh, I've always even, I can't ever remember whenever I didn't do what I particularly wanted to do. I was born in Thomasville, North Carolina, and outside where Mama and Daddy had, had a watermelon patch. Daddy was a fixer in a hosiery mill. And then when he got older, he worked in an ABC store, which is a bad place for my daddy to have worked, okay? Mama was a looper at home. Daddy did not let her go out to work. I brought home friends every now and then, and I would tell them if my mama came to the door and she says, bad words, then they might as well leave. If she came to the door and she says, how are you doing? Y'all come in and enjoy yourself. You can go inside. My mother was a demented alcoholic, and I loved her. But yes, she did hurt me many times. She held guns on me, and she had knives on me, and all kinds of things. But that's all right, too. I loved everything that I did in school. I played so many sports in high school, it was unreal. They wanted me to be the kicker for the boys' football team, because I could kick better than any boy could. And I'd go out on the field and play with the varsity football team and I tackled the six feet four inch boys by their ankles and just blew their mind. I have been all my life involved in helping somebody with something. That's just the way it is. Although everybody else wanted me to do everything else in this world, I just knew I wanted to be a nurse. I don't know why people don't want to help people. One time the CNAs wouldn't get in the bed with this lady that was dying. And she asked them to, and they came up there and told me, that foolish old woman in there wants somebody to get in the bed with her because she's dying. I said, get out of my way. Some people don't realize how important it is to give somebody something you can do that's so simple. And wherever I'm at, and stuff's happened to people everywhere I am at. I've even had to do the Heimlich maneuver on people out in public. And I've had to... I take care of people at wreck sites many times and drownings, all kinds of things. But it's what I was meant to do. So that's why I do it. I don't know if I got you telling me about how you met Grandpa, though. Oh, Grandpa Parsley. I met Stephen Earl Parsley in the operating room. He was, he was a technician and the girl that worked in the operating room with us, well actually two of them in there, liked him and wanted to date him. And they would both chase after him, but then he was after me after a while when I got divorced. <laughs> well, I called him one time with another girl that wanted to date him. And I, it upset me to no end because we had started dating and he was gone to this girl's apartment. And I knew that that's where he'd gone, so I, went over there and I knocked on the door and I said, you are welcome to continue what you're doing, but you stay here. And I said, you're out of my life. And I got in the car and drove home. He was, he almost beat me home. <laughs> Steve was my soulmate. Everybody seems to think I can't live by myself. I don't live by myself. I go out and have fun. Dancing starts at 10 and ends at 1. So that's what time I stay out to. It's fun. And they always have a fit because I don't sit. And I, I'm not there to sit. I don't get much out of sitting. I feel like I'm in prison doing this sitting, if you want to know the real truth. And nobody believes that I don't drink. Until they've been around me a long time, and then they say, "Well, you really don't drink." I said, "No, and I really don't take drugs." Do you think a lot of people know you? Oh my goodness gracious! Here, my love, your grandma. We love this lady right here. 
Have like a signature move that you do when you dance? I got several. <laughs> they love it whenever I, they love it when I do. And I do that because it says and um, bow down or get low or something. I also do this going all the way down, down, down. Down, down and up and they like that. They can't believe, it's one person told me one time, I can't believe a crazy old woman like you can do all that stuff you can still do. And I said, well, you know what? I am a little bit crazy. You have to be a little bit crazy to live your life. So I took that as a compliment. <laughs> so tell me about pickleball for people who don't know what pickleball is. Oh, pickleball is a lot of fun. It's a combination of tennis, badminton, and ping pong. And uh, how long have you been playing? At least probably 10 years. My brother's not been playing as long as I've been playing. She's not going to get the sportsmanship award. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can be happy. I know, but don't. They're not here. They weren't watching. Pickleball is a lot of fun. It's got some of the craziest rules on this earth but it's a lot of fun. The best things ever happened to me is I have three wonderful children and they have turned out well and I'm very proud of them. And I now have grandchildren. Family's everything. You know I'd do anything I can for any of y'all. Two. Are you out though? He's out. Grandma yeah. Lily, you Let, up. Um, how are you <laughs> sound? <laughs> Choose the guiltiest looking player to put one card from their hand. But there's a blessing in life to have kids and grandkids. Look at him Oh my gosh. I'm not sure that one. <laughs> that you know, it was the time period. Okay. That's all it was. It's okay. Now, Mom, look at some embarrassing ones out of you. Where's your dying hair at? I told you. you can't sit around and do nothing and live a good life. The more you help some people, the better off you are. The more you do, the better off you are. I live what I call a normal life. I'm helping others. So how much more normal could that be? Sweet.